All right, kiddos, welcome back. And I think it's uh, time to do a few more practice uh, equilibrium problems or icebox problems. So I've got a few, uh, a couple here for you uh, that we'll take on in this video. So the first one, um, we're going to take some water vapor. And it turns out that at 1500 Celsius, 5% um, of it is dissociated according to this equation. So we can have water vapor and it can dissociate into hydrogen and oxygen gas if it gets hot enough. So I want to find the equilibrium constant for this reaction at this temperature. So let's start by writing the equation again. 2H2O is at equilibrium with 2H2 and O2. And immediately uh, we can see we run into a problem when we write down initial concentration. Well, when I give you a percentage, folks, we can assume any amount of um, water vapor to begin with. I'm going to go ahead and start with a one molar concentration. So we're going to say, okay, initially that's 1.00 molar. We won't have any hydrogen or oxygen gas initially. And that will change by 5%. So we just simply need to find 5% of a 1 molar concentration. So 0 0.05, 5% of 1, is down 0 0.05 molar. Now remember, if we know what happens to, to one substance in a balanced equation, we can figure out what happens to everything in that balanced equation. For instance, if my water vapor goes down by 0 0.05 molar, uh, this product, hydrogen gas, will go up by 0 0.05 molar. Notice it's a 2 to 2 ratio, or a 1 to 1 ratio. Well, what happens to the oxygen gas concentration? Well, that's a 2 to 1 mole ratio. So this is only going to go up by 0 0.025 molar. So, at equilibrium, we will have... 0.95 molar water vapor remaining. Remember, it only dissociated 5%, so most of it is still intact as water vapor molecules. We will have 0 0.05 moles per liter of hydrogen gas and 0 0.025 moles per liter of oxygen gas. So let's write our equilibrium expression for this reaction. KEQ is equal to hydrogen gas concentration at equilibrium squared times the oxygen gas concentration at equilibrium divided by the water vapor at equilibrium squared. So let's plug some numbers in there. We have hydrogen gas concentration of 0 0.05 molar squared, oxygen gas 0 0.025 uh, moles per liter, and water vapor is 0.95 moles per liter squared. So we'll go to our calculator, folks, and we'll calculate our equilibrium constant. So we have 0.05 squared times 0.025 divided by, I'm going to use my parentheses key here, kiddos, 0.95 uh, carat key squared, close parentheses, and I end up with 6.9 times 10 to the negative fifth would be the equilibrium constant uh, for that reaction. Okay, that wasn't too bad, was it? Yeah. All right, let's take a look at the second example I have here for you. We have a mixture of uh, 0 0.05 moles of hydrogen and 0 0.05 moles iodine. We place it in a nice one liter rigid cylinder at 430 Celsius, the equilibrium constant for this reaction is 54.3. So I want to find the equilibrium concentrations of hydrogen, iodine, and hydrogen iodide at equilibrium. So let me give you the reaction for this. We've actually seen it before. We have H2 gas plus I2 gas as an equilibrium with two HI gas. Now the KEQ I gave to you this time, 54.3 at a temperature of 430 
degrees Celsius. So we want to find the equilibrium amounts um, of each reactant in each product. So let's start with our icebox diagram. Initially, I have 0 0.05 moles of hydrogen in a one liter container. Uh, sorry, I said 0 0.05, I meant to say 0 0.500 in a one liter container, so it's 0 0.500 0 molar. My iodine, I have the same amount in that container, 0 0.500 0 molar. And my hydrogen iodide, initially, I don't have any product. So now the change, and this time we don't know how much it changes by. I didn't give you a percent that reacted. So uh, we're going to have to put x here. So this will go down by x, this will go down by x, and my product, since it's a 1 to 1 to 2 mole ratio, will go up, because we're creating it, by 2x. So at equilibrium, we end up with 0.5 minus x for my hydrogen, 0.5 minus x for my iodine, and 2x for my HI. Now let's write our equilibrium expression. We have HI squared over H2 and I2 concentrations. So we know the equilibrium constant is 54.3. That was given to us, folks, equals the HI concentration at equilibrium, which is 2x, and we're squaring that, over my H2 and I2, which is 0.5 minus x and 0.5 minus x. Now it looks like we have a small problem here, and that we have a second order polynomial, but I think we can fix that by square rooting both sides. In fact, to make this look just a little, little prettier for you, can't I write my reactants as 0 0.500 minus x squared? Okay. So if I square root both sides, I will uh, end up with the following. Let's see, let's see what the square root of 54.3 is. 54.3 square root is 7.37. So we end up with 7.37 equals, and the square root of 2x quantity squared is 2x, and 0.5 minus x quantity squared is 0.5 minus x. So now we have everything in terms of x. So now we just need to do a little bit of algebra here. And I'll hold your hand through this. This can be sort of fun. We have 7.37. And we'll go ahead and clear our denominator. So we'll need to distribute that through 0 0.500 minus x. And that will equal 2x. So let's see. 7.37 times 0 0.5. 7.37 times 0.5 is 3.69, so now we have 3.69 minus 7.37 times a negative x is 7.37 x's equals 2x. I'll make sure you check my math here. Sometimes I will make a silly arithmetic mistake, but I'm sure you have my back. Let's go ahead and combine like terms now. So I'll we'll add 7.37 x's to both sides. I bet you guys feel like you're back in the 8th grade now, don't you? Go ahead and cross that off. We end up with 3.69 equals, it looks like we have 9.37x's. So if we divide both sides by 9.37, we end up with x. So 3.69 divided by 9.37 that gives us 0 0.394. 0 0.394 equals our x. All right, now how does solving for x help us answer this question? Well, I think we can now find our equilibrium concentrations. Let's go back to our ice box. All right, these are equilibrium concentrations. Yeah, they are. Don't we also know x? Yeah, we do. So we should be able to substitute in 0.394 for x and solve for our equilibrium concentrations. So let's give that a shot. We know the H2 concentration and the I2 concentration are going to be the same. 
0.500 minus Rx, which is 0.394, isn't it? So 0 0.500 minus 0.394 gives us 0 0.106. Okay, and it looks like our HI concentration is 2x. So HI concentration at equilibrium is 2 times x, and so that would equal uh, 0.394 times 2, which is 0.788. Alrighty, so we have all of our reactants and products, we have their concentrations at equilibrium. That was sort of fun, wasn't it? But you know what, let's go ahead and check our math here. If I use these concentrations in my equilibrium expression, I should end up with my equilibrium constant of 54.3. So let's take a look here. Um, my KEQ equals... HI concentration squared, which we suppose is 0.788 squared, over H2 concentration, which is 0 0.106, and I2 concentration, which is 0 0.106. So let's see what we get here, kiddos. So we'll have 0.788 carat key squared, and then we're going to divide that by 0 0.106 and divide it by 0 0.106 again, aren't we? And we end up, well, we end up with an answer of 55. So looks like we've done some rounding along the way, but I'm pretty certain that I'm uh, confident with my math and my answers here with that. Alrighty, kiddos. So that was sort of fun. I hope you enjoyed practicing a couple of icebox problems with me. See you soon. Bye-bye.